Welcome back. Um, we are currently level seven, and I've noticed once you hit this home page, um, oh look, what up? I rank. If I click rank up, that's seven. Um, we've been getting level sixes, yeah. But oh, does that change when I do that too? Maybe. It does. Anyways, um, we're level seven now. We've been getting a lot more level six. Uh, level questions and so oh level five let's do this one cool um, what is it I forget I forget what I was gonna say let's go ahead and do this human readable time all right write a function that takes a non-negative integer seconds as input and reads the time in a human readable format okay Right, if I that takes a non negative in just seconds. All right, cool. So they're going to give us a second. Um, hours padded at two digits, so 0099. Maximum number of, num maximum time never exceeds this. So it'll never exceed that. Uh, you can find some examples in the text test fixtures. So that's probably talking about this. Um, to let you know, I've done these hour stuff before, but I they're usually not important enough for me. It's they're not like a concept, so I always forget. Um, anyways, what I'm trying to say is I don't, I didn't have to memorize this, so I will struggle here probably. Um, cool. Let's see. So these are the seconds. These are the seconds. All right. So when everything's zero, that's zero. When it's five, that's five. Sixty, that's one minute, not sixty seconds. Okay. Uh, and as long as time is whatever this is. All right. Oh, cool. That happened to be that. So if this was one second higher, then that would probably turn to 24 hours, I'm assuming. And past the 24, it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. Okay, cool. So... I think this one, I'm going to do a lot of testing as I go through it. Um, I'm not sure if this uh, Code Wars platform is the best to test on. If it's not, I'm just going to switch over to like a JavaScript file and, and test it on my desktop or whatnot. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, I know that at the 60, 60 mark, we want to jump over to minutes or hours, and therefore, um, hmm. Okay, let, let's take another minute to game plan. We know that everything's going to be padded two digits. Okay. And so... so I, and, and another thing is I'm not too good with modulo. And I know this one takes modulo, so let's experiment with some numbers. 60 seconds mod 60, that's zero. Good. Um, 60 mod 2, maybe I meant 2 mod, mod 60. Okay. Um, 78 mod 60, 18, okay. That's cool. That's what I wanted. Um, cause I have fifty. Let's say I have fifty nine seconds over the sixty mark. Then I'll get the fifty nine. But if I get the sixty seconds, then I'll get the zero, which is good. Cause I want. If I have sixty seconds, I want one minute, not sixty seconds. So I, I think this mod 60, that, that's the main trick to getting it on here. And now it's all about just connecting the right pieces together. Let's do this. Um, another challenge is going to be doing the double digits, padding it double digits. Uh, but that I I'm kind of thinking that's just a, a conditional. And so in the end, we're going to give it to Give it in this HHMMSS format. So how about let's just create some variables first. Seconds. Um, 
um, let, uh, let's see, let's, seconds, minutes, and I don't want to type all that. Hour. Okay, cool. And so we have our seconds, minutes, hours. We're going to return the hour plus. Mm, there are no spaces. Oops, minutes plus seconds. Cool. So that's our format. And let's see, let's see what we get when we. Oh, we don't get it. All right. Um, that's what we got. And so, oh, you know what? Um, this just made me think of like a helper function. So well, let's call this pad num, pad num, number. All right, so we're gonna just test, is it a double digit number if num is greater than uh, nine? Oh no, sorry. If it's if it's a single digit number, um, let's return. And we're gonna return a string. Uh, we'll return zero plus num. Oops. Return num. We'll return a string version just to be consistent. Although it's not going to matter once we get here, <clears throat> but uh, let's try it out. Pad num on this hour. Before we commit to that, let's just see. Okay, cool. So it takes care of our hours. So um, I'm pretty sure it's going to take care of everything else. There we go. Oops. Okay. Hey, look, we passed the test. Just because we did that. And so pad num, awesome. Let's, let's hide that. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. And so we, we we got we got through our little padding number problem. Uh, next thing to do is to figure out these numbers. And so um, how about seconds equals Um, let's see, what is that? Seconds mod, oh, what am I doing? Mod 16. What, what? Why? String is not defined in pad nut, what? What are you talking about? It just happened. String is not defined in pad num. Add human readable. What the freak? What the freak is going on? Do you like that? And now when I do seconds equals seconds mod sixty, they're like screw you or something. Let's... Okay. If this is the problem, we'll just. Oh, you know I freaking misspelled it. <clears throat> there we go. Let's take a look at, look at that. I misspelled it. Cool. And looks like we passed another one here, which uh, was 659. So let's try, uh, if that was mod 60, then let's see what it takes to get the minutes. And so we get, let's do 61 mod 60. Oh. Oh, huh, check that out. Sixty-two. Oh, wait, no, nope. That's not what we want. We want, um, we want uh, division now. So this is what we want. Sixty-one divided by sixty. Flowing that. Cool. But what if it gets to 120? 
Okay. I think that's good. So far, so good. So minutes equal uh, math dot flooring uh, seconds divided by sixty. Let's see if it passes some more tests. Yep, and it passes some more tests. Uh, so it looks like three thousand six hundred is pretty much the hour. And how? So what happens when we put that in here? Three thousand six hundred. We get sixty. All right. So how about hour equals math? No. How about we do that? Min mod sixty. No, it didn't work. Hour. We got one. Um, okay, rewind. We were passing more earlier. <clears throat> so uh, I have to confess, I just tried that because I thought it might work. I didn't really think about it. All right, 3,600 is one hour. And so, but we got 60. All right, what about, oh, you know what? If that's one hour, then this is what we're gonna have to go against. Um, what is, it? I'm looking at this right now to get some more hours. That's 24 hours exactly, 86400. Zero, zero. Um, 8,600 for, no, 86,400, 24 hours. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're just going to go with the seconds and we're going to go in on the, oops, the 3,600. Cool, and we failed everything. Um, let's look at those numbers again. Oh, it's because we did a mod. We're supposed to do uh, division. Math dot floor and divide this guy. Maybe open that one up. Oops. All right, cool. So we got that. All right, we're getting a bunch of, uh, so we're getting the right hours now. You can see the one, the one, the 12, the 12. We're also getting the right number of minutes or the seconds. We're just getting the wrong number of minutes. And so, so why? Where are we getting this 754 from? 754 mod 60, what is that? 74 mod 60, is that what we want, the 34? Yes. And so that's telling us, okay, this is giving us what we want. Just we need to mod that by the 60. So let's do it. Cool. All right, a lot of incremental steps on this one. If I had to do this on like a whiteboard, I don't know. I don't know if I could pass it. Probably have to do a lot of like hand math. Uh, math is not my strong suit, uh, but we we got through it. A level five question when we we're level seven, and um, and surprisingly, testing on this uh, Code Wars platform proved like it was okay this time around. We'll submit final and see if they take it. Cool. All right, and I'm gonna try to be more like, what is it? Add better tags in my videos so it reaches more people and hopefully help more people. But that was readable human time.